hi guys thanks for tuning in again welcome to my channel my name is Angela and today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 things you should know before coming to Qatar so stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so by pressing the subscribe button right below this video and also please follow me on Instagram my Instagram handle is Anjunaf uh, I share some fun things that may, I may not be sharing on uh, videos but just keeps gives you up-to-date information about what's going on so having lived in this country for over a year now I have uh, there's some things that will just come on top of my head and uh, number one you should know that living in this country if you are not married you cannot stay with you you know your, your boyfriend or girlfriend there is no cohabitation <laughs> Yeah, there is no cohabitation and if you're thinking that maybe you're moving to Qatar and you can move with your boyfriend or your girlfriend Uh-huh, you guys should uh, Think of an alternative way because yeah as much as maybe people could be doing it. It's illegal Yes, because this is a Muslim country and that's against the Sharia law Number two is that this is a fairly safe country or maybe very safe country so to speak with a very low crime rate like it's you can forget <laughs> your phone maybe at the restaurant or whatever and somebody will just run after you and say hey ma'am <laughs> you left your phone here <laughs> it's not like in other countries that uh, you forget or you you look the other way and your phone is gone in seconds and i remember even there's a time that uh, i was with my friend a friend of mine and uh, just left the car unlocked and i was like okay don't you think somebody might uh, break into the car and stuff like that? i said no 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 it's fine you can even leave the car at the ignition and nobody will even dare touch that car so yeah that's that's really a fun fact yeah that's the level of safety and uh, the level of security in this country number three is that for you to come and work in this country of which most of the people living here anyway are uh, workers you have to have a sponsor so you have to be sponsored either by your company or by your husband or by your i don't know maybe a relative but uh, yeah you just you can't just come into the country and uh, maybe you and say that you're looking for work you have to be sponsored so even if you find work with a the company they have to sponsor you give you a work visa and then throughout your stay you will be under their sponsorship so if like say you are under your husband's sponsorship if he gets terminated you automatically lose your job wherever you are and you both have to exit the country and uh, yeah so like that and even if you like lose your sponsorship you get fired from your, your your job you have to leave the country because you can't stay here without a sponsor once you leave the country your visa gets cancelled so that's another fact Point number four is that this is a muslim country so you cannot like <laughs> go about evangelizing and meeting people in the streets and you know handing over flyers or going door to door and saying oh guys I'm coming to speak to you about Jesus <laughs> you cannot do that that's illegal so yeah as much as there is uh, you know freedom to worship and there is a place that is reserved just for you know for the church a centralized place where you can find the churches you are not allowed to go around you know just preaching to people it's illegal you keep Jesus in your heart yeah and you just you need to be yeah, really careful about that fact number five is that alcohol is restricted it's available yes maybe in five-star hotels or uh, yeah either you will have to find it in a five-star hotel or you have to have an alcohol license to be able to buy alcohol you'll not walk into a supermarket and uh, you know go pick a few bottles of beer or wine nah, nah, you will not even find alcohol in supermarkets <laughs> that's that, that, that that's funny and also you have to you know have to be holding uh, certain kinds of professions you know for you to be even allowed to obtain the alcohol license and the alcohol license is given or granted by your employer so if you are in a you know lower grade jobs you can simply not buy alcohol so if you are an alcoholic planning to come to Qatar you should start thinking about going to rehabilitation <laughs> yeah so I don't even remember the last time I took alcohol it is that serious because 
as much as I can go to a you know five star hotel and maybe drink alcohol. For our company, it's zero tolerance policy for alcohol, so I can't anyway. So I just have to be a good girl until I go back home and maybe I can enjoy a bottle or two. Point number six is you have to dress really modestly. You know, you can't be walking around, you know, showing so much skin or your cleavage and blah blah blah. Yeah, as much as it is summer, you have to really cover yourself up properly. You don't have to walk in an abaya or anything. As you can see, I'm not wearing an abaya, but you can't dress skimpily, especially during the Ramadan period. So you, when if you're planning to come to Qatar, you know, pack some really modest clothes. You know, it is as serious as even men going to, especially even government, you know, hospitals, they are not allowed in in shorts. If you're a man and you're wearing, you know, a short short, you'll not be allowed to go into the hospital. So yeah, you really have to think about that when you're packing. Carry the right clothes. Point number seven is that summer can get insanely hot. Like I'm telling you, insanely hot. You can literally like breathe in hot air you know and towards the end of summer it gets really humid you sweat like no man's business you know I remember I you know I blowed out my hair and after two days oh my god because of the humidity it was so wet and I, I just I had to that's why I have to <laughs> I have to use a wig because otherwise just leaving my hair out can look really terrible so yeah summer can be insanely hot you won't want to be outside especially during the day but in the evening it's nice and warm especially around this time okay maybe because i'm close to the sea it's really the breeze is really cool but yeah you need to know that summer can be really hot and you need to plan accordingly maybe uh yeah carry some shades uh you know a summer hat you know and um, yeah just clothes that can be comfortable for summer not skimpy but comfortable because it can get really hot your AC better be working because if it fails <laughs> you can't even sleep it's that serious point number eight is as the summers get really hot winters can also be very cold I'm not talking about snowing or anything but it gets really cold because the you know when the wind blows it, it's you know the wind is very strong it hits right into your bone very cold wind hitting right on your face and uh, you as much as you might think that oh this is a desert i'm going to qatar i don't need any sweaters my friend you better carry some really warm clothes you know some really warm clothes you need to carry you need to if you can get a an extra blanket you might need that pair of socks you might need that you know because yes it can get seriously cold you won't even believe that this is qatar yeah and it also rains by the way towards the end of summer when it's getting into winter it rains a lot so of course you can also carry an umbrella it will help you shield you from the hot sun and also during the rainy season point number nine is that this place can get depressing there is no much uh, like uh, recreational activities you know this place is all about work you are here to work it's work home work home and the you know the routine can get monotonous and really depressing so you you need to find you know to connect with some friends go out you know sometime go out relax do something fun you know you really need friends in this place you really need friends people that you can know you can hang out with maybe during the weekends or in the evenings during your off days but if you're just solo oh my god you'd want to go back home as fast as you wanted to come yeah so find something fun to do you need friends you know so connect connect with people get into you know groups church can be a place to meet people you can connect with people from work but you need friends because it can get really really depressing i'm telling you very serious and last but not least is that if you want to save yeah in this place you can save you can save up some good money because imagine there's no alcohol if you're not spending your money on alcohol there are no much places to go to 
so you from home work home home work and we are not paying taxes that's a plus so yeah if you want to save you can plan yourself and you can really really save and do whatever it is that made you come to this place in the first place so i hope you really enjoyed watching this video those are some fun facts if you're planning to come to qatar 10 of them and i know that there are more but this is just what i wanted to share if you are not subscribed to this the channel please do so and also follow me on instagram at uh, angie Naf. Uh, the Instagram handle is just at the bottom there. It's been nice hanging out with you and now I have to go to my Spanish conversation class. Yes, I speak Spanish. I'm good like that. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in another video. Bye.